This week, a medical examiner revealed the cause of death of Olympic track star Tori Bowie. The 32-year-old gold medalist died last month from complications during childbirth. And that highlights a disturbing trend for black expectant mothers. According to the Centers for Disease Control, black women have the highest maternal mortality rate in the country, almost three times the rate for white women. And the U.S. itself has the highest maternal mortality rate in the developed world. Caitlin Huey Burns has more on how health advocates are working to combat this deadly trend. I've been dismissed often for age, for um, a lack of education or this, this perceived lack of education, um, even for just asking too many questions. As Selena Martin was expecting her first child, her concerns went beyond delivery. But I've been dismissed just on, on such small things, there's already a lack of trust in that system. There's been a history of mistrust in our population. The most important piece is the listening to me. Kai Lindbergh is the CEO of the Healthy Mothers Healthy Babies Coalition of Georgia, an organization working to improve outcomes in a state with one of the highest rates of maternal mortality. How is this possible in this country? Yeah. How is it possible? Well, I think the reality is we like to think that we've moved beyond some of our, our dark past, right? But injustices still exist for marginalized populations, particularly black and brown people in this country. Mm -hmm. When I think about being a black person, specifically a black birther, the whole thing is centered around just the belief that I am enough, mm -hmm. that I am a person and I matter and my voice matters, I feel the pain that you do, I want success for my children like you do. I mean, that just to me sounds so fundamental. <laughs> you, what, what do they say? Um, simple isn't always simple. The CDC found implicit bias and institutional racism are some of the driving forces in the rising number of black women dying during and after childbirth. Lindbergh's organization is trying to change this dynamic by providing access to doulas and advocating for legislation to chip away at the financial barriers to doula care, like providing Medicaid reimbursement. So often when we talk to families, we hear that. Like, I want a doula so I, I, I don't die. It's not like I want a doula so that I can have support I need for a healthy and thriving pregnancy. It's like I'm a, I'm a black person and I'm scared. Only 10% of doulas nationwide are black, and organizations are popping up across the country to pair black families with black doulas. Doulas are that bridge and that trust builder between that patient and community resources, the clinical staff, et cetera. The high maternal mortality rate among black women has little to do with socioeconomic status. It's been a long time, but we had a lot of complications, but look who we got. We got a baby girl. In 2018, tennis star Serena Williams opened up about her own trauma of giving birth. She said her concerns of a pulmonary embolism were dismissed by her doctors. A recent study in California found the richest black mothers and their babies are twice as likely to die as the richest white mothers and their babies. That's why Chanel Stryker Boykin, who is a certified doula, says women of color need an advocate during pregnancy and labor and afterward. It is a holistic um, practice that covers all bases. If your autonomy is taken from you um, during that experience, it can, you know, affect the trajectory of your life and even the way that you raise your children. Research shows people who work with doulas are less likely to have a preterm delivery or a low birth weight baby and less likely to experience postpartum depression. But it's not the cure all. I want to also make sure that I share that doulas are not the answer to this maternal health crisis. The answer to this crisis is systemic reform. For CBS Saturday Morning, Caitlin Huey Burns, Atlanta. You and I just both looked at each other and we were like, I don't know if you did too. We were just like, yes, that's, that's what you need. And I've heard doctors in the last week speaking out saying almost we need to get over ourselves a little bit at this point yeah. and, and start looking at ourselves about yeah, this. Yeah, the data's there. What are we going to do about it? We know this is a problem.